Hello, my friends. Um, I'm a little emotional right now, and when you see the following video, you will understand why I have just been with a family, a mom, a dad, and a, and a young boy. They are Mark, Mia, and their son, Julian. Mia suffered a gunshot wound to the head, and her life will be forever altered by this. It, it's very, very hard to deal with. She, the, the three of them are homeless. Everything they have is in the back of a U-Haul truck that they are only able to pay for from her disability checks. And just watch the video and let's see if we can do something for Mark, Mia, and Julian Lukowski, please. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's your old buddy Stan from I Love St. Pete, and today I want you to meet a family that has become very special to me. Um, this is going to be a special pro project for the I Love St. Pete Emergency Relief Fund, and uh, I'm calling out to you. We, you know, we're going to need some help to make this one happen because this is a big, tall order, basically. I'd like you to meet the Laskowskis. I'm here with uh, Gary Laskowski. Gary Laskowski, and this is Julian, and down here this is Mia. Say hi, Mia. Yeah. There you go. Now, what's happening here is, why Why am I here with them right now? Because a wonderful lady named Sandy Winter contacted me Monday morning and asked me if I knew anyone who could use uh, a, just a real high-quality electric wheelchair. I didn't. But you know what? Ten minutes later, I heard from Gary here, who, by the way, you may have seen him online. He goes by Jedi Knight. <laughs> and... Uh, and and he asked me if I knew anywhere where he could get an electric wheelchair. So I called Sandy back. We made the arrangements. We went and picked it up at a uh, nursing facility and about all 200 pounds of it. Wow, was that heavy. And we uh, we now have Mia in her, her electric wheelchair here and she's, she's able to uh, get around. I understand she had a very traumatic injury to the head. You may see this U-Haul truck behind me. The Lukowskis have been living in this pickup truck since Christmas, and they are homeless. And we are trying to find someone, somehow, some way, to find them a place to live. This is about the most extreme case I've seen, of many that I have seen. And we're going to ask you all to open up your wallets again to try to make something happen. Now, Gary, you started a... Um, you started a GoFundMe this morning, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So we'll probably just direct you all to that. And uh, if you can help out, help out to make some changes and get back into the world. I would very much like it if you would all help us with this one. We're going to put everything else on hold right now to try to make this happen. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you all back in the group.